Distance of village elders are full health. They hope to wait to extend their life. Principle of equilibrium. And concocting potion. That's me now. Potion gain five bonus levels and maximum potion level by five. Okay. What they say is Lenny. true. You have Ellen, to see the world for yourself so to for appreciate how potions. beautiful it is. Ant and I have been rehearsing non stop for a whole slew of non new magic lately and we completely wore ourselves out with not properly leave from a uh, brought us a time invigorating potion and did our minds light up head of merchant was selling it other slow fire found a merchant after exchanging words i learned that in potion room. bravo as the night and it's back thanks to your help in it tonight has to a new program for the military act of our Something on your mind again? Let's work through it together. Two heads are better than. Success means getting more oh, customers. A merchant is here. Uh, Pymark's not sure they're from Mondstadt, though. Let's go check it out. Alright. Go check it out. Atufe? Hello there. Okay. The name's Atufe. I am a traveling merchant from Sumeru. Great Atufe. to meet you. Whoa, it's been quite the journey. Guess news of our humble shop has already spread to all four corners of Tibet. Hey, it's all thanks, Paimon. Paimon's practically a sales whiz. She can sell water to a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree. This venture of yours is becoming quite well known. In fact, many well informed merchants have heard word of your potion selling endeavor. But most people are still not willing to take a risk on such a rare commodity. If you ask me, though, when the opportunity knocks, you've got to be ready to answer. That's how you make the big Mora. Although the general public still doesn't know much about alchemical potions right now, with a little effort and marketing on your side, you can carve out a nice space in the market for yourself. Once that happens, the Mora will just keep on flowing. Once you've generated enough demand, you could even increase your prices tenfold. <laughs> with that kind of profit, you could even take the rest of the year off if you wanted. Tenfold? Are you serious? <laughs> as long as the demand is there, people will pay anything. You could say it's a sort of mutual agreement between consumer and supplier. With the way you talk, Paimon can't help but be reminded of a certain other Mora obsessed merchant. <laughs> Dory. Wait, you did say you were from Sumeru. Maybe you know her. Ever met Dory? Wait, you mean Lord Songama Bay? One of the most famous merchants in all of Sumeru? That Dory? You know her? Yeah, he is a friend of mine. Oh, wow. Lord Songama Bay is one of my biggest idols. Her business sense and dedication to making Mora has always been one of my greatest inspirations. I was even lucky enough to visit the palace of Alcazarzare once. It truly is a magnificent sight. One day, I hope to be just like her. Up to my ears and more Mora than I can count. <laughs> uh. Looks like we lost her. 
Should Paimon snap her out of it? Or... Wish you all the best, but uh, let's get back to business, please. <laughs> You're right. I seem to have strayed off topic. Back to where we were then. I believe I was telling you how we can make some big Mora together. The idea is actually pretty simple. You produce the potions, provide me with a regular supply, and I'll help you sell them across to that. If that sounds good to you, then we should talk more in depth about what kinds of potions to sell this time around. I'll check potion requirements. According to my keen market sense, these are the kinds of potions that are currently in demand. While the shop is operating, potion distributors can help sell potions to drop in. These distributors will have clear requests for the efficiency and the amount of potions they want. Develop a distribution strategy for them uh, and select two advantageous strategies out of several to gain great benefit. These distributors will not change their area of operations. Advantage strategies will be fixed for location. Is there sales and financial treatments to see if your business that it's all working? Potions will be fixed. Okay. All right. This. Select distributions. Sample delivery. Certification. Gold purchase discount. Celebrator celebrity endorsement. Guarantee time batch sale. Time batch sale. You like the discount. Teaching potions. Go up to one of recent cycle and bring the sales results with. I think it was up a but we are how these people come they got from one thing we better we have some more business yeah I I saw all that she brought the new Bills expansion contract sixty hundred thousand. It's hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. Oh, that's um. Just uh, just taking a biscuit. I suppose we're going to take this. This. I'm almost done. million six hundred thousand Here. Wait, that must mean there's a new exam. 
Yep. It's time for the advanced exam. This one will be harder than previous exams, but I'm sure you'll do just fine. I'm so nervous. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. I actually had Mr. Albedo take a look at your previous potions. He was a bit amazed that someone so new to potion making could already produce such an impressive result. Yeah, well. He even told me that for someone of your talent, we could stand to set harder questions. Wow. Uh, the recognition feels nice and all, but Paimon feels even more pressure now. If we don't pass this time, it'll be super embarrassing. Don't worry too much about that. Lots of things in life require a couple tries before you get it right. When I first started working as Mr. Albedo's assistant, all sorts of unexpected things would go wrong during my experiments. For example, when I was studying the properties of mist flowers, I accidentally froze all the equipment in the lab. I basically turned them into ice sculptures. Our precision instruments were nearly ruined beyond repair. Another time, I had let a reagent boil for a little bit too long, and all the precious ingredients inside got charred to pieces. The smell was so bad, several nights passing by thought the lab had caught fire. <sighs> Back then, I would get really hard on myself whenever things went wrong. But eventually I realized that, in order to make new discoveries, you have to accept the risk of failure. Fear of making mistakes will prevent you from truly going after what it is that you want. You're absolutely right! Hey, you're actually really good at motivating people! <laughs> it's just my experience talking. I've spent a lot of time doing research in the lab after all. Anyway, as long as you try, you'll learn something valuable from the experience. All right, whenever you're ready, we can go ahead and proceed with the advanced exam. Exam requirements. All right, so concoct a potion of advanced or higher grade. Efficacies include them. Potion grade reaches advanced. Potion level reaches plus eight. Potion displays the fragrant characteristic. Use at least five different ingredients. Okay. Wisdom. Fragrance. Sure. Fragrant. No, I put fragrant. Okay. Wow, you even breeze through the advanced exam. Oh well. Ever thought I about helping out around the lab? 
drop everything and pursue the path of an alchemy master? Huh. What do you say, traveler? Not sure we're quite ready for that yet, but certainly help out. If we work together, I'm sure we can make something super amazing. By super amazing, do you mean you already have something in mind? Well, in the past, my research was mainly focused on the study of plants. But this experience has shown me that potions can have all kinds of effects on people as well. So, I started thinking, what if potions could have an even greater effect on people? Like, what if they could be used to help people unlock their hidden potential? A memory enhancing potion, for example, could help people memorize a whole library's worth of knowledge in a single breath. Alternatively, a strength enhancing potion could make it so that Paimon could take down an Abyss Mage all on her own. Whoa. Paimon didn't know you could make potions like that. Sounds awesome! Well, it's certainly theoretically possible. Alchemy is, in itself, a way to explore the unknown. It's a discipline with endless potential. In fact, current research has barely scratched the surface of what's possible with alchemy. Theory, though, is always easier than practice. And with alchemy, there are simply too many things that you have to take into consideration. Just off the top of my head, there's the theory of sublimation, the potion's mechanism of action, and the innate metabolism of the person consuming the potion. Paimon didn't quite catch all that. <sighs> My bad. We can talk about the details some other time. If you're interested, just stop by the lab. Sweet! Watch out, world! With a cool potion from Sucrose, Paimon will be able to become the strongest guide into Max in no time! Well, I'll be off then. Only one more exam to go. I imagine you and I will both have some final preparations to make. Yeah, we will. And last. Beto it. Did it. Yep. We did. 